Hello everybody. This week is not going to be a guide video. This week is going to be an opinion video. And um, quite negative opinion at that. So if you're not interested in my opinion, or you don't want to hear anything negative about the game, I would suggest going to watch something else. Otherwise, welcome to my first opinion video since pretty much my first couple of videos where I Slamming pretty hard on the pay-to-win aspects. Now, the first part of the year, I would say the first quarter was really good for the game development. They were going in a good direction. They had changed a number of event rewards from being fixed fragments to being reward chests, so you could pick whatever you wanted from the chest, which is good, because let's say, you know, of the three heroes being offered, two of them you either don't want or you already have maxed out, eh, yada, yada, yada. And then during the uh, anniversary event, and of course I think the anniversary event was actually pretty, pretty fucking bad, but at the same time they also introduced personal armory, which was pretty fucking good. Um, in fact, it was so good that... Uh, participation, activity, whatever you want to call it, in my alliance, was at the highest it had ever been. In fact, of my uh, 275 days, I would say that is the most activity I've seen both in my alliance and on a server since I've started playing. It really revitalized the game. And it did this because it allowed new and free players to close the gap with old players in Wales. You know, it gave it gave a sense of progress at a point in the game where it would stagnate and most people would leave. That's that's a good thing, right? You would think, yeah, let's let's keep going in that direction. Well, um I also have to like to point out before I move on that because of personal armory and because people were playing the game and they felt like they were progressing, people in my alliance were asking me Hey, Doc, what should I spend money on? I shit you not. Not fucking kidding. People who were who vowed to never spend a penny on the game were like, Hey, I like where this is going. I like that I can make progress. I don't feel like I'm being exploited. I want to spend some money. They were asking me what to spend money on. Right? Right. Personal armory. Well, the developers decided that um, giving away that much stuff for free to free players was actually a bad idea, despite it increasing activity and converting more free players to paying players. Um, also, I had spent more while it was active because I felt like, hey, we're going in a good direction. I kind of want to reward this. Well, they said um, they pulled the event, and the reason they gave was they felt that personal armory interfered with um you know what i'm not even gonna paraphrase i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna quote the actual fucking announcement here All right, let's go on here and see personal armory mm-hmm <laughs> In the end, we made a decision to temporarily suspend Personal Armory to make sure that it doesn't disturb other in-game events and offers fair support for your crusade. That's, that's their words. That's what they said. They said they felt Personal Armory was interfering with other events. And, you know what? I'm probably going to lose my community contributor status, but honestly, I don't even know how much longer I'm going to fucking play because this is fucking hilarious personal armory actually made it easy to complete all of the other events like events events that i normally would just be like yeah the rewards aren't worth it i'm not gonna do it i was i was full bar clearing the things because of personal armory so that's that's bullshit all right let's let's call it like it is let's be honest developers you pulled it because you thought it was costing you money to give away stuff for free Unfortunately, that's not how free-to-play mechanics work. 
you want players to be as invested as they can be so that way they continue to play on a sunk cost fallacy. That's why you want personal armory. Plus, it keeps a perpetual sense of progress and it encourages activity. You have to log in and do things throughout the day in order to get those free things. Inactive players aren't going to get those things. It was good for the game. In every possible metric, it was good for the game. But the developers pulled it because they felt like it threatened their bottom line in the long run. Never mind the fact that it was converting free players to paying players. Well, that was the first red flag for me. The second red flag was the uh, quote-unquote optimization of Breach the Storm. Now, I'm going to hit the positives on Breach the Storm because I feel there are some things they did improve. First of all, it's you get more points on the six early stages, and there's more ways to get points on those stages. Like uh, It had been a concern of mine of once you get close to maxing out all the research, how are you going to get the points for that stage? And I believe they added... Uh, getting points for collecting resources to that stage. It's that or something else. It's a good move. That and uh, they changed the bulk of points you get in the final kill stage from making kills to healing troops. And while all of the whales on my server cried about this, and this puts me in direct opposition of all of their opinions, I think that was an awesome change to do. Because now, instead of all of the level 40 turbo whales going around smacking everybody that's not void shielded under level ba uh, under battle barge level 30, they were actually hitting other players that had a defense. I got hit twice. I had a void shield. I almost got, I almost got zeroed. And that is that wouldn't have happened on the old one. Nobody, they would be like, no, we're not going to hit beefcake because we're going to have to spend, you know, 100 million resources to heal our troops. That changed from, we're going to hit Dr. Beefcake because we need to heal our troops for 100 million resources to get frags. That was great. That was awesome. But all that progress is irrelevant and doesn't matter because now every stage gives you points for crystals. Alternating between spending crystals and buying crystals. And they severely reduced the fragment rewards for uh, everybody under 20, basically. Like once, once you went under 20, I think it fell pretty much down to five fragments. I don't have to, I should have taken screenshots of it when the event was up. But anyway, it drops off sharply to the point where the old one, if you made it into the top 100, you would at least get five frags. Now, if you get into the top 100, you don't get enough to be worth participating in the event. So, yeah, there were some good concepts, but overall that was also a net loss. Now, they've made this stealthy little change, and of course I'm sure once they see all the bitching about it, they're going to roll it back and say, oh, well, that was a mistake, we didn't mean to do that. Um, they've gone back to uh, to this. Breach Assault gave a box that offered the choice of fragments between uh, Cantor, Maya, and... Uh, I forget who the other hero was. But you got a choice. You could choose something that was valuable to you. <clears throat> Likewise, uh, was it Black Rock or Fort Obsidian? One of the other major PvP events I had also switched over to a choose your fragment box, and people are showing screenshots that that's no longer the case. It now just gives you uh, specific hero fragments, and if you don't want that hero, oh well, you just shouldn't participate in the event. There's no reason to. So they're they're rolling back all of the good changes that they've made. It is now going back to the abysmal state that it was when I started playing. And I don't understand why. The changes they were making were good for the game. 
They were good for player retention. Activity was going up. It's it's almost as if Game Workshop got on the phone and called them and said, Hey, what the fuck are you doing? We charged 50 pounds for a sprue of crack grenades. You can't be giving away stuff for free. I don't care what your metrics say. You can't do that. And it's all just very concerning. Oh, by the way, you can you can start considering a defense other than rebound. Because we have a hero coming that's going to reduce rebound damage by 50%. So unless you're rocking close to the cap like I am of 80%, which would still be 40%, um, rebound is not going to be worth anything to you against a whale who is undoubtedly going to buy every package there is that's going to have these fragments, whether it's the dailies or a new welcome aboard package or what, doesn't matter. And they're going to hit you and they're going to just slice right through you. Rebound was the only way for a lower level, lower power player to have any impact on a defense. Not success, but impact. And I don't see any mention of fixing the power gap. New players are 100% impotent in this game until they get within five levels of the highest battle barge level. So the max on my server right now is 40. Unless you're 35, you're impotent. You ain't doing shit. Don't even bother logging in. No, I'm serious. Just don't. I mean, the, the only reason you exist in the game is to provide resources to the whales that hit you and to provide uh, helping hand speed boost to the whales that are in your alliance. Which just, it boggles my mind. There's so many games out there that do such a better job, as terrible as they are, as horrific as their developers are, they're still doing a better job. Take, take EVE Online. New player joins in there within two days to a week. They have everything they need to be a contributing member to Fleet Warfare. They are participating in the end game in a week or less from starting an account. World of Warships. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of pay to win in, in wargaming titles, but a free player with skill can still compete to some degree. It's, it's, this game is, there's no skill. It's like you have the right heroes and the right army position, composition or you lose. And unfortunately, those right heroes, you got to spend some money to get them one way or another. Like the, one of the strongest builds I see on my server is Coronas, Seth, then Sanguinous. Sanguinous. Well... Sanguinius is pretty hard to get fragments for. You're going to be buying as many uh, utility, legendary utility fragments, and then Seth is not much far behind. Cronus is easy enough to get fragments for right now. But when he was introduced, the only way to get fragments for him was from the hero wheel. Ugh. I don't like where things are going. I was going to make a new player guide first hour of gameplay video. You know, the first things you need to do to get into this game, but with them backpedaling on every improvement they've done to this game, I don't know if I really want to encourage anybody to join. So that's that's my feedback, devs, if you're listening. You need to you need to, <laughs> you need to go back in the direction that you were on a month ago. You need to bring back personal armory as good as or better than it was when you took it out. You need to remove crystals as a points thing for breach assault. It's just not breach assault, breach the storm. You need to remove crystals from that. And you need to make it so that top 100 gets gets fragments, even if it's only five. Like 
what's if you can't get in the top 20, why even participate in the event at all? There's no reason to. Just void up during kill event and save your save your resources for upgrading your battle barge. I mean, yeah, you get a lot of points for healing, but if you're not getting in the top 20, it doesn't matter. You ain't getting shit. Just it needs it needs to go in a different direction. I do agree that rebound is bullshit as a defense, but they're not giving an alternative, a viable alternative to new players or free players. So it's going back to before you had three rebound heroes, it's going back to, well, you just hope you have the right composition to do something. And of course, they're going to scout you and counter your composition. And well, that's that. So save yourself some trouble. Don't be a resource barge for the whales. Just, I don't know, do something else. Developers, just fucking stop it. You were going the right direction. I don't know what's up. If Games Workshop told you, called you and told you to do this, just give them the finger. I don't care. Well, maybe next week I'll have a guide. Maybe next week I won't have anything. I'm just, just, wow. I'm, I'm actually pissed off. Not even for me. It's like, this doesn't affect me. This affects everybody else in my alliance. This affects the people who don't have the time and haven't the disposable income. Just what the fuck? 